from Boris Johnson as United Kingdom's Prime Minister and it seems that she's already facing multiple crises on the economic and also on the political front. While her political ratings have in fact fallen to an all-time low, on the one hand, her economic policies have remained a bit of a non-starter in terms of providing any tangible relief to the common people. To make matters worse, her recent tax cuts have only fueled further discontent and outrage across Britain. The British Prime Minister was pretty quick to respond to the situation. Truss has conceded that her government should have laid the ground better for last month's debt fueled mini budget, which he says had resulted in tax cuts for the wealthiest and had also prompted a market meltdown in Britain. There is an issue that interest rates are going up around the world, and we do have to face that and we do have to do that. But I do want to say to people, I understand their worries about what has happened this week and I do, I do stand by the package we announced and I stand by the, by the fact that we announced it quickly because we had to act, but I do accept we should have laid the ground better. But there are, I do there, accept there, that. You accept you and should I, have laid I, the ground better. And I have learnt from that, I have learnt from that and I will make sure that in future we do a better job of laying the ground. The latest mini-budget announcement from the Conservative Party government has caused massive economic shocks. The British pound fell to an all-time low against the dollar and investors lost billions of dollars as the stock market stank. And this came on the back of an already worsening cost-of-living crisis. The skyrocketing inflation and soaring energy bills have also been a major issue in Britain. The simmering discontent of the people manifested in the streets of London as recently as on Sunday. Thousands of protesters rallied in London and elsewhere around Britain over the cost of living crisis. And the demonstrators also aligned with various organisations and gathered in large numbers to block roads and bridges in London. A huge price increases, increase in terms of electricity and gas bills, which has come into effect from midnight on Friday, has also resulted in many people, thousands of them, taking to the streets and demanding answers from the government. A lot of workers and a lot of people that are working in this country have had enough. They've had enough of not working full time and not being able to pay their energy bills and not be able to put food on the table. And it's not just going to be these guys. Other people in other sectors as well have had enough. And that is why everyone's come out in solidarity today, because I think people can relate to it. And it's about coordinating those strikes now and making sure there's a, a broad popular movement, not just around pay, but, you know, benefits. Um, just the cost of living like prices like in general um, and I feel that's really beginning to be built now um, it's been a long time coming but like you can feel the energy here at this rally like it's really electrifying so the pressing question of course enough is will a mere acknowledgement of shortfalls in policy fix the real problems of the people Will it be a worded apology bring back millions lost from the investors' pockets or will it contain a soaring will it contain the soaring inflation? These are some of the issues that, that the people in Britain are demanding urgent answers for. And at this point of time, the list trust government seems to have no answers whatsoever. And also we earlier spoke with Jonathan Liss, who joined us live from London, and this is what he's had to say about the political problems that the Liz Truss administration is facing because of the economic meltdown after the mini-budget was presented. Listen. The basic answer is that the markets don't have any confidence in Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng's ability to manage the economy. Uh, they just don't think that they know what they're doing. Um, so when um, Kwarteng announced that massive um, package of uh, tax cuts and huge uh, increase in borrowing without any means to pay for them, uh, it just seemed as though um, they were kind of playing ideological games with the economy. And that's why they took fright. That's why the pound crashed. That's why interest rates have gone up. That's why the Bank of England had to step in to rescue pension funds, which would have caused a full-scale financial crisis um, if uh, if they hadn't done that. And so um, I don't see what trust can do now because 
um, she has shown that she is entirely ideological and that the markets don't actually like it, even though she's purporting to act for them.